What's going on everybody? Welcome back to part 9 of building Netflix app from scratch using Swift 5 in UI kit. In this part, we're going to be working with the top search tab. But before we do so, I just wanted to fix something really quick regarding the upcoming tab. And basically, um, each poster over here is overflowing the container. So as you can see, we don't see the padding that we specified for each poster. So let me just fix that really quick. So let's just fire up Xcode and make sure that you're in the title table view cell file just go to the poster and type image view dot clips bounds and set that to true and that will prevent each poster from overflowing the container and also we can just decrease the padding just a little bit maybe to 10 instead of 15 and then let me test that to see if that is working and uh, yes everything is fixed right now you can see here that each poster has like 10 points up and bottom so basically everything is fixed regarding the upcoming tab and now let's just go ahead and move to the top search so basically the top search is going to have the same functionality that the upcoming tab has so first of all let me just copy those three lines over here right and let me paste that over here and we can just change that to search let me hit build and run to see if it's working and as you can see here all right so the next thing that we need to do right now is just we want to have a table view so that we can display the, maybe a discover tab for the user before um before the user enters a query to search for so maybe he want to discover what is trending right now uh, or what he might be interested at so let me just go ahead and define my table um, basically we can copy the same table over here I just wanted to make this really quick so let's just copy that go back in here and let's just paste that maybe I'm gonna call that discover table right and that is going to have the same title uh, table view cell which is basically why I've made it uh, like a generic one so that we can reuse it in so many places as you can see here once in the upcoming tab and the the other in the search view all right so over here um, let me just clear that space um, and let me add that as a sub view so discover table and uh, over here I'm going to set the layout so layout so view that layout sub views super dot view that layout sub views and I'm going to give that a frame with the bounds of the view itself so view the bounds all right and also over here just make sure to you know set the delegate and the data source for the table view to be that controller so that we can implement all the functions that we're going to use to pass the data and also pass the number of rows so discover table dot delegate is going to be equal to self discover table dot data source also going to be equal to self all right let's just go down there extension search view controller and let me time UI table view um, data source UI table view delegate all right just a second UI table all right so first thing that we need to implement is the number of rows for now let me just return 10 and sell for row also maybe I'm gonna be returning a cell right now so we have the cell so let's just do guard let cell is gonna be equal to table view DQ cell with identifier um, I believe it's title table view cell dot identifier or index path as title table view cell and else we're gonna return a normal UI to table view cell all right and over here let me just return the cell for now because actually we don't have data yet okay so let me just go really quick to um, the movie database um, 
maybe we can find the method that we're looking for um i'm gonna maybe we can find the method that we're looking for i believe it's called discover um so let me just go to the website and type in here maybe discover yeah movie discover over here and we can just scroll down until we see um try it out you can just add the uh the, the attributes that you want uh to search the or to query the database with um let's say for example that you're looking for specific region uh specific language and also you can just put your api key over here and test that out and uh, it's gonna give you the results so basically let me, let me just copy that out all right and let me go back to my api caller we're gonna add a new function over here all right so let me just type func get discover movies all right and let me just copy that signature over here just i'm gonna make that really quick and also basically we're gonna implement the same functionality over here so let me just do that let's just copy that um basically we just need to write so let me just go ahead and paste the url over here all right so um basically we're gonna have the same constant base url and we want to pass our api key instead of um the top rated i'm just going to add the same stuff over here um so let me just go ahead and delete that and make sure that i have the same constant base url all right so i'm going to copy all that and paste that in here just a second all right so let me just delete that i don't need it anymore and instead of the api key over here i can just pass the one i have so let me just do that constants dot api key and as you can see here uh everything's set up we can use the uh discover movies function all right it looks clean all right so let me just go back to my upcoming oh, i'm sorry it's the, the search view controller and let me just define a new variable over here so private var titles and we just copy we can just copy that from here all right and then we can um use the same function so fetch discover movies let's just define that function over here so private func i'm going to basically um call the api caller dot shared dot get discover movies and for the result i'm going to switch on that switch result all right switch result case success let me get those titles and let me assign those titles over here to the titles array that we have so um titles um okay Okay, we're gonna do this week self. So self the titles is gonna be equal to titles. And over here we just need to um, set that on the main thread as well. So let me just do this batch q.main.async. And over here I'm just going to reference my table. So discover table dot reload data. And over here, I'm just going to handle the other case really quick. So failure, let error is going to be just simple print statement. All right, so now we have everything set up over here. And um, let me just go ahead and use that um, variable that we made and get the count for it so that we have the number of rows that we're going to be using 
We can also set the cell dot configure. I believe we have that. The title, um, the title view model. We're gonna define that over here. So let model is gonna be equal to title view model, and the title name is going to be um. All right, so we can pass that in here. And here, let me just get the title. Let title is going to be equal to titles right index path the row. And now we have the title. So basically, title dot maybe the title name. If that is not available, let me just pass in here the title dot the original name. Yeah, no, no. Um, the title, original title, yes. And if it's not available, let me just pass unknown name. And over here, let me just pass in the poster path. All right, so everything's set up over here. And um, yeah, let me just add um, a default empty string over here because that is going to be an optional. And before we hit build and run, um, let me just fix something really quick before we get the same error that we had before with the um, with this with the upcoming view controller, basically, which is the height for row. And let's just return the same number that we returned at the upcoming view controller, which is 140. So let me just return 140. Let me just hit build and run and let me see the results that we get so far. All right, so the home controller working fine. The upcoming tab is also working fine. And the search tab is also working fine. So that's it for this tutorial. So if you liked this video, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to my channel. That would mean a lot to me. So again, at the end, please have a good day and stay safe.